Hey there, welcome to Dull Motion. Me and many other dull artists collab to give you an all themed steampunk line. So definitely check out their repaints after this video. But for now, let's make Sungbird. Sungbird is a half man, half robotic bird. It's from the Bioshock Infinite game, where it is Elizabeth's warrant. On command of a song, this giant leather bird can be deadly. So, let's make one! If you found the suspicious ring I was wearing in the previous video, you found the hint. Well, good luck finding the hint in this video! Let's begin this custom! It's going to be totally different than usual! For this custom, I'll be using Master High Boy Deuce. Well, here we go again and let's try to take off his snake hair. But first, I'm going to take off his hat by dunking the doll in hot water. This makes the vinyl soft and easy to remove from the neck pack. And now for his snake hair. Surprisingly, this went very easy. Great, I'm not going to repaint this doll. Then I clean off the factory painted face with acetone and take off his ears with an X-Acto knife. This bird is going to get many body modifications, so to be able to alter them, I first need to remove some parts. I use a jeweler saw for this, but you can also use a Dremel. I will be keeping his feet joints. Let's switch back to his head. Songbird has big lights as eyes, which change depending on what kind of mood he is. Green for friendly, orange for neutral, and red for attack mode. Because I think red looks the coolest, and I have easy access to it, I'm going with red eyes. These I make from LED lights taken from bicycle lights. I just take them apart by screwing them open. I'll be using the original circuit. I'm not a big genius on electronics, although they are really light up when pushed to a battery. I make two red LED lights ready to be his new eyes. The original buttons will be great for turning off and on his eyes. To make them fit the head, I trace them on the head and cut out the shape. Now the LED lights can stay in. I also cut out the back of his head, so I can get to his batteries when I ever need to replace them. For a longer neck, I'm using a phone or a camera stand. Although he looks like something from my nightmare. For the hose of his air mask, I'll be using this thick elastic I will paint black later. I will just glue it where his nose used to be. I then take a big googly eye and cut it open. I take a translucent part and start filling it in with red ink. Looking for a round object, I traced it on foam and cut it out to be his new eyes. With my lino cutter, I make two big holes in his back for his future wings. And speaking of wings, out of a combination of different wires, I make one strong wire that can endure much pressure. I made a simple amateur for a wing and cover it with bandage tape. With the same wire, I connect the legs back together and secure them to the body with a two part epoxy glue. To prevent the head from squeezing together when I push the buttons, I use a filled up bobbin and set it loose into the head. Songbird is quite big, so to give him more body, 
I cover the doll with pieces of foam and bandage tape to keep it together. And now he looks like a bird mummy. Okay, let's make this doll steampunk. Although Bioshock is quite subtle on the steampunk team, I probably will gear this bird up. <laughs> I can finally use my box with my many leftover and found metal objects. But first this doll is going to get leather. A lot of leather. Well, fake leather. Most of the time you don't really want to see the stitches on an outfit. But here, the more stitches you see, the better. Inking up the air mask hose. Switching between different colors of fake leather. I also make pieces for on top of its outfit. To give it some more extra steampunk vibe, I'm going to give his outfit eyelets. You can find these tools in many craft stores. They are quite simple to use. You just make a hole and then you take an eyelet ring, you can find these on eBay, and push them into the good side. Flip them over and smash them with a pointy tool and a hammer flat. I make some more leather pieces. That I will glue to the doll later. But first his wings. I paint them in a copper color. And cover them between two layers of fabric. Pin them in place and now I start sewing around the wings. Till we get two gliders. To make them more look used, I cut small holes. I light them up with a flame. I do this outside for obvious reasons. To make the wings more worn out, I use tea bags to sting the fabric. Then I let it dry. A string that can go through the outlets in his neck, gluing on the first leather piece that will hold the air mask hose. The hose itself will end up in his side, that I glued with a hot glue gun. The shoulder leather piece will get in some detail. And a leather string that will lead to his back, like he's wearing it like a school bag. Now it's finally time for some sculpting. For this, I will be using my trusty epoxy clay. I prepared a bunch of part A and B and mixed it together. When I'm sculpting new features to our big bird, let's answer the question of the day. The question is, where do you get your inspiration? Well, for Songbird it's obvious, the amazing game is called Bioshock. Some time ago I got a good lesson from art school. Create a place you can always step inspiration from. For some this can be a garden or a city. But for me, it's my workroom. It's filled with photos, figures, dolls, materials, games, books and 
everything that gets me inspired. That means I never suffer from an artist block. Of course I sometimes don't feel like working, but that has nothing to do with inspiration. So, do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comment section, and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the custom. I also made a tiny Elizabeth he can protect. Out of a small miniature army man. I first cut off the army features, covered with epoxy clay, and painted it to the right colors with acrylic paint. Time to attach the rest of the leather pieces. And of course, his wings. To make the electro wires in his back, I bind a wire around the stick, slide it off, and attach it to his back piece. And last but not least, to make his leather more worn out, I use shoe shine. His eyes can easily be turned on and off again by pressing the leather by his eye. The bicycle lights give me three options of light flickering. Hey, I just realized this is my third bird custom. Well, that was it for this big leather bird. But there are so many more steampunk dolls for you to watch. Go to my lovely friends. Dolls brand new look, Delightful, Hextian, Moonlight Jewel and Anastasia Customs and Dollmail also have fantastic dolls. Links are in the description box. I would like to thank my lovely Patreons for making this video possible. Oh, and before I go, Frangie arrived in her new home and already made many new friends. So cute! And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video, bye!